Hello, I'm Jan Mulvey and you're watching the Red Men TV. Hello, welcome to the Red Men TV on an evening that saw Liverpool win 1 0 against Gus Poyet Sunderland side at the stadium. I like with a wonderful goal from Lazar Markovic to give Liverpool the lead. Shock, horror. Lazar Markovic gets his first Liverpool goal, the man that everyone wrote off two minutes into his career seems to finally be coming good. For the Reds, the first half uh, and is where we should start because I thought we were absolutely fantastic. The way we, we passed and moved and pressed. We should have had a penalty in the first couple of minutes. I don't know what plight the referee's on not to give that. It's a stone wall penalty as you're likely to see in your life. And my big fear at the time was we've seen that happen so many times against teams that that play, you know, that park the bus, play very defensively against us. You get given these opportunities, you'd always get one chance early on in the game to 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 break the deadlock and, and, and change the way the game's gonna go and that we didn't get that penalty. My, I must admit, I had an inkling of like, oh my God, no, it's going to be one of those days, which is dreadful to think about, to think that that's so early into a football match. But the fact that we, we picked ourselves up, dusted ourselves down and went again and, you know, the way we got the goal, the link up, Stephen Gerrard, wonderful little touch, Berini putting himself on the line and Markovic, even though, we can sing his praises for his technical ability in that game. It was his, it was his passion and his desire just to see that ball get across the line that, that ultimately got him the goal. And that was as impressive a thing about Markovic as anything else, any other aspect of his game. I thought that was terrific. Um, his shot that hit the bar was just jeez worthy, just sensational. If that goes in, that's up there with one of the greatest goals the Premier League has ever seen because the technique, the fact that he literally leaps five foot in the air and manages to I, I I don't even know how he's done it. It's 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 like wire fighting shit. It's like it was it's it's matrix stuff. That's like Agent Smith. Couldn't 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 make a connection like that. Um but yeah look the first half was great. When Gerard had to go off a half time and bring Lovren on, Chris said it in his in his post match interview changed the complexion of our Liverpool set up too many changes. It was far more disjointed and we didn't quite look as fluent we should really have taken that game on and I said I just wanted to get that second goal so I could enjoy that match and that second half was just not enjoyable not because I thought we were particularly bad we weren't as good as we were in the first half we were fine we still got into good positions we still made enough chances but just not getting that goal means that you're on edge because all it takes is a is a dodgy corner or a set piece or something just you know just a mistake which we know we're consistently prone to at the back and and you're in a lot of trouble. So it was it was a, a cagey affair. It was a nervy affair. We had everyone in, in in here watching it, and you know it was a deep sigh of relief when that final whistle finally went. And I imagine the same is true of pretty much every Liverpool fan the, the world over. Let's have some of your tweets. Um, at ladies man with a three in there. Vegard have Krog says we need to practice our finishing. It shit at the moment. I uh, yeah absolutely agree with that. If we could just if we just had a clinical centre forward. You know, these games, we it's just staff, but we would be far higher up the table if Daniel Sturridge was fit and available to us. It's as simple. It's as simple as that. Or if we bought someone even remotely close to his, his level. Balotelli looked all right coming on. He had a wonderful little moment where he sort of creeped it on the left edge of the box and worked his way in. Again, it's fine, positive signs, but for a player of his a supposed caliber and standing in the game, I still just he still disappoints me. Uh, I hope Berini actually was a was a better bet. He put in a fantastic shift up front. Really worked hard. You know the hand he has in the first goal can't be underrated. But you know the fact is he, he has that chance at the end of the first half goes around the keeper should be should be putting them away. Um, at Shawnee Maguire at Maguire Shawnee, uh, we kept a clean sheet a clean sheet. Wait, what? Yeah, <laughs> clean sheets. We've had a few of them, haven't we? They're pretty nice. And no one, no one, no one's predicted. No one's won any money on score prediction for Liverpool today. I can't imagine uh, because you'd never ever bet on Liverpool getting a clean sheet. But lo and behold, lo and behold, we have um, at our next boss. Uh, Expos Markovic, Moreno, and Chan all good in today's game. Summer signings are really showing their way. We actually did that on the on the New Year sort of end of year roundup, talking about our summer signings. And when you win, our signings look really good. When we don't, they look shit. But you know, I think I think we're at a point now, with the exception of Balotelli and and Lovren, and maybe I'm overstating it. But I think everyone else of our signings is, is either 
all right, or you can see that they've got real the real potential, or they've, they've been a, they've been a good buy or, or a good low move in, in the case of like Mankeo. So yeah, I I, full, I fully agree with that. And Gerard, uh, my God, says we have a problem of dropping deep in crucial times of the match and conceding late corners, considering who our keeper is. Yeah, I think that's it. there's still a cage in there, and that's because we don't have that confidence provided to us by having a few goals by going a few goals up. We can relax, and we did that last season. Getting those goals means the whole team can just play the game the what they want to play. Whereas it does get nervy and it does get edgy and that translates to the to the fans and you, you're absolutely right. But I just don't know. I I don't. I'd rather just try and be solid and, and drop deep and try and the defensive thing rather than maybe run the risk of. I don't know. I I think I think you can make a case either way. My opinion is as long as we as long as it works, it's worked and you can't really criticise it because ultimately we've come out with the three points and a clean sheet at the end of that. Um, I, I'm also going to be doing my best worst on a separate video and we've got the lads from the studio doing their reactions. We're going to have a goal reaction to the goal and if we've got time and I can convince Tom to do it, we're going to have the uh, the live box as a, uh, of our reactions throughout the match as a subscriber show this week, which is definitely worth checking out. That'll be on the redmentv.com. Uh, we did one a few weeks ago. Good laugh. If you want to see us, uh, in our natural element watching the match then yeah check it out free for a month otherwise it's it's two pound a month after that free month and uh, more transfer stuff coming up this week as well don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and finally i just got to say i've got to drop it in there that uh, I, this has been the the best birthday present i, I could have asked for one no win just oh, if it had been two no it would have been clear cut but chris got me a dreamcast um, so it's it's just edge the ball the fact that we got the win anyway thanks very much for watching uh, leave any of your thoughts on the match in the comments below and we'll see it on the rest of the videos. They were there. They, they were there to be beaten by more than one goal. Look, yeah. we went they went down to ten men and we, we just fucking stopped playing football. Mm -hmm. And that's not good enough for Liverpool football club.